I, I um, took a trip to Devil Ark, which is a, um, a park that was created specifically for the devils. Um, and in particular, it was trying to address um, a couple of concerns. One was just cost. So they've got this, um, what they call the insurance population. So this population of captive devils that they're, um, that they're planning to maintain, you know, kind of indefinitely. Um, partly as a kind of, I mean, as the name implies, as a sort of backup insurance to make sure the devils don't go extinct. And part of the thought, too, is that um, that if, you know, in, in the worst case scenario, the, um, the cancer will wipe out all wild devils. And if that happens, then the cancer dies out, too. But the, the problem here, there are two problems. One is that maintaining, you know, a population of, I think it's currently around 500, and I think they're still building it up bigger. And it can cost ten thousand dollars a year to maintain a single devil in a zoo. So you can't. I mean, ten thousand dollars times five hundred times you know decades, like you know, it's not going to work. Um, so um, so that was one of the problems that Devil Ark was trying to solve um, to find a cheaper way of maintaining. Devils. The other issue that they were really concerned about is, is maintaining wild behaviors in these devils. Because if you've got a devil living in a cage and you deliver a, you know, um, kangaroo leg <laughs> uh, every few days, um, then the devil just forgets a lot of things that they need to know to survive. You know, they, the, there's a, there are lots of behaviors around interactions with other devils and mating and avoiding predators and um, finding, um, you know, finding carcasses to eat or hunting small animals. Like, there's just, there's a ton of stuff here. And so if you've got devils that have been bred in captivity for decades and then you, you know, stick them out in the wild, they're not going to do very well. Um, and, and then the additional problem is that the devils that do really well in captivity are the ones that can, can adapt to, to, they're relatively, you know, easygoing, they can live in this very strange environment, that sort of thing. Um, the devils that are likely to do best in the wild are the ones that are shy, that are cautious, you know, that kind of thing. And, and those devils often won't, won't lead in captivity. So, um, so Devil Ark was trying to solve all of these things at once, and so they created what are called free-range enclosures. And they're not the only people doing this, but they're doing it at a pretty significant level. Um, so they've got these these big cages, um, and then they have gone to to great lengths to make this as much um, much like living in the wild as possible. So they um, they do feed the devils, you know, they bring carcasses for the devils, but they hide them or they put them up on wires where the devils have to like work hard to get at them and they move them around, they put them in different places, they don't just deliver it to the same place over and over again. Uh, you know, the, the devils are significantly protected from predation, but not completely. There are still issues with eagles and that kind of thing, so that, which, um, on the one hand is bad in the sense that they can lose young devils to predation, but it's good in the sense that the devils learn to avoid predation. <laughs> um, so it's, an, it's a very interesting project because their, their fundamental goals are somewhat opposed to one another. I mean, they, they want to breed these devils, they want to keep them safe, um, they want to have a good population of them, and at the same time, they want to have them keep their wild behaviors, so they want to not protect them too much, and they're they're working hard to kind of find the right um, right balance with that. The the insurance population almost certainly will prevent devils from going to state. The question is whether, on top of that, wild devils will make it. And and the thing that's really critical about that issue is the other animals that are dependent on them. So. Uh, as I described in the piece, the, the devils play this role in essentially 
protecting this whole range of smaller marsupials that have gone extinct on the mainland. And in particular, they uh, compete with red foxes and keep the red foxes from spreading in Tasmania. And the red foxes uh, eat the young of these marsupials and um, outcompete them, and so they go extinct. So, so I think the biggest uncertainty is around that. Will this cancer cause this kind of cascade of um, extinctions of these other animals? And what will be the large-scale ecological impacts of this cancer? And that, at this point, is still a really big question mark.